Okay, I'm going to do another video. Um, got a lot of comments. I appreciate them. Uh, now the haters are coming out of the woodwork, but uh, that's okay. Okay, basically he's telling them where to stick it. And uh, that's what's going to happen. Basically. Don't put her in the car in a minute and she'll have all the privacy she needs. Well, actually, there's a reason not to Just put her in the car right away. Too. I'm out with watch. Instead of shaking your head, you could just simply ask me what I'm doing. So, I know what you're doing. And he's working, by the way, Mr. Gutter Trash. Okay. Um, I used to be a policeman, and I'll tell you this. Uh, there are reasons not to put people in the car immediately. Um, you do what you can when you can, but uh, there are a lot of scenarios. I'm not going to go through them all. Uh, if it, Jason's never been to a police academy. And I'll say I went to an old school police academy. Um, these cops probably didn't go through the same one. I mean, I went through one in um, Clayton County, Georgia a long time ago uh, when a lot of police were getting killed in the line of duty. So that was their main focus. Today, it's more like, oh, there's sensitivity, political correctness, and, uh, you know, other things like that. But uh, I don't think the police academies focus so much on um, the cops protecting themselves or anything like that. But uh, gutter trash is um, interfering with the police investigation. You, have a you think you know what I'm doing? We know what you're doing. I understand that, but you you think I you know what I'm doing? Yeah. being harassed in public yeah Again, I think you should just ask me what I'm doing he doesn't have time for you look jackass the guy's working if it turns out she did do something wrong there's no reason they couldn't have sat her down inside the car in the air conditioning yeah there is mr. not going to the police academy jackass why don't you let her sit in the air conditioning in your car and then nobody can see her well, then, that's, there you go. Well, one thing we were taught at the police academy is not to argue with the public. I mean, you basically had two modes. You're going to either ignore them or you're going to arrest them. Uh, now, obviously, there were situations where we didn't do either one. But um, basically, uh, you should not engage with these people. I mean, you should focus on what you're doing. And um, gutter trash is testing the waters. He carries a gun. He's agitating the police. He's seen how far he can push them. Um, the police made a big mistake in this case. They didn't get a report on um, gutter trash. They should at least identify him and fill out an incident report and file it away. And with computers, there's no reason not to. But uh, again, the police academies these days are more of a genteel type of organization. Um, I was very fortunate. I went to a very good police academy. Okay. I think it's closed. It may have been reopened, but uh, fact is, yeah, she just asked to do that. No, I don't know. But there's reasons not to put him in the car um, initially. Again, there's a lot to mention here. Law enforcement and the citizenry these days. And what we're doing, this is my son. We travel thousands of miles every month across the country trying to bridge that gap between the citizenry and law enforcement. That's what we do. That is bullshit. Okay, we're going to call bullshit on Jason Gutter Trash. What he's doing is he's picking a fight. He's trying to get an argument stirred up. He's trying to get something for his video viewers. And um, some of the people have made comments, well, he's Jason's obviously right because he's got a lot of subscribers. Uh, no, that does not make him right. Just just shows how stupid people are. But uh, anyway, he is trying to pick a fight with this guy. And he says, oh, he's just trying to bridge the gap. No, he's not trying to bridge the gap. And um, even if he was trying, that's not his job. Okay. Okay, and now we got um, the sergeant here. The general public could use some ethics. The general public could use some ethics. And actually... So you think it's an issue, you think it's I, an issue I, with I, the public? I think it's an issue with the whole society. It's not police. So it's not the police play no part in it? I didn't say that. Sir. You said it's not police. No, no, no. No, you didn't let him finish, jackass. We've lost our ethical and moral grounding. We believe anything we hear. That's correct. And we yep. get spun up about certain things. Everybody wants a cause. We're, we're, we're highly trained as a society, poorly educated. 
Okay. I agree with you 100%. No, you don't. No. No. Have you ever seen another police officer do anything wrong that he should have been arrested for? No. Okay. Have you ever falsified information on a report? Okay. Uh, again, uh, he's obviously picking a fight. He's looking for trouble. The questions that he's asking are very, um, well, they're loaded questions in every sense of the word. Um, we were told, though, when I went to the Clayton County Police Academy in Georgia, uh, no, you're not there to be interviewed by people. Unless you're in that official capacity, and they had a class for that, too. But no, you're not there to answer people's questions, okay? And I've actually arrested people for when I was doing, a, let's say, a traffic stop. And people say, what happened? And um, they keep bothering me. I have to work the accident, and then I have to arrest the person. I mean, because they keep bothering me. Oh, what, what happened? What happened? That's not my job to tell you what happened. And um, But I've actually arrested people for just bothering me. Okay? And, um, you know, a lot of people said, oh, that's a frivolous arrest. And even my own department said, oh, you shouldn't have done that. Uh, no, I should have. And, um, you know, I did what I was supposed to do. No. No, okay. Well, I got to take your word for it. I got to take your word for it because obviously you're lying. Okay, you just called the guy a liar to his face, okay? And policemen, you ought to be aware of this, okay? These frauditors are not doing you any favors. They're not your friends. And let me remind you that Gutter Trash and the Fairy Godmother, his son, they both are criminals, okay? They got a criminal record. They've been arrested. And I hope that's true. You do. Yeah, but I just, I don't know where the anger, you have a little bit of an angry tone to you. And or Tell me he's not trying to start a fight. You got an angry tone. Yeah, he's looking for trouble. Or a uh, frustrated, I don't know what the right word is, and I hope maybe this conversation... And, by the way, to the cop, um, you did a bad thing by not getting this guy's identification and filling out an incident report. You should have done a report, and these little reports that you think are non-consequential, they matter. They add up. But, hey, you don't feel like doing one, don't do one today will lead you away from that. It could just be one my face to That's anyway, what, that, I can't see your face because of the mask, but I anyway, I can I just get your name and badge number, sir, before we... And by the way, giving away the name and badge number all the time, I mean, give me a break. I mean, uh, that was not our policy, and um, it was on display. All you have to do is look, but if you're too lazy to read... Sergeant Sims, badge number 53. Sergeant Sims, thank you very much. We thank just you. hope you continue to uphold the Constitution and treat people with respect. We hope you continue to uphold the Constitution. So you're implying that he's not going to. Okay, um... Policeman, you ought to take note and maybe um, go back to the old school ways, you know. Um, but anyway, Jason Gutter Trash is looking for trouble. It's for a video. He's got a lot of viewers. Okay, it doesn't make him right. But um, he's begging for trouble. He's looking for trouble. He's instigating trouble. He's uh, implying that the cops are no good. Um, whether he's right or wrong, I don't know. But... Um, the fact is, they didn't do an incident report. They didn't get his ID. Uh, so, yeah, the cops are wrong in that regard. But, um, actually, they should have arrested him for interfering with an investigation. But that was the way I would do it. That's the way I did do it. Um, but anyway, um, Jason Gutter Trash doing another video. And uh, me doing a video on Jason Gutter Trash, the liar.